Hi, meteorologist Peter Hall. This is your CNY Central First Alert forecast. After receiving anywhere from a half an inch to an inch of slop and glop from some spots to up to two to three inches over some other higher elevations and locations of central New York, the way the rest of the day goes like this. For the morning hours, for most of the immediate central New York area, there's probably going to be some intermittent on and off, very light and spotty, mostly insignificant precipitation of light rain and light wintry mix. If you're watching this for the far, far, far north country and far, far western areas from well, basically west of Q, the lake, you're going to probably have a little more rain and snow this morning. Then as we get to this afternoon, what's likely to happen is the stuff over the western Finger Lakes in western New York will start pushing in over all of central New York. And what that will do is bring some steadier rain and precipitation back. I actually think it's going to be rain and snow for lower elevations with primarily snow over higher elevations. And then every elevation goes to occasional snow tonight with borderline temperatures for accumulation. We'll get to this, the amounts in a sec. So yeah, it's made a kind of a sloppy, gloppy, tricky early morning commute. But once the plows have been out to get rid of the slush and salt the roads, things should improve. Certainly we've talked about that new rain and snow moving in this afternoon. It's going to be pretty unsettled for the Friday and the weekend period too. So again, we've mentioned this morning and this afternoon, is there going to be any new accumulations today? Well, the best chances are going to be this afternoon when you get some steadier precipitation, but even then, it's probably going to be elevation dependent. Lower elevations, anywhere from a melting trace to maybe a coating, possibly, and I probably, if the coating happens, it'd probably be on lawns, cars, and trees versus streets. And higher elevations might be able to squeak together another inch or two. That's just this afternoon. Now we've mentioned that the rain snow mixture will change to all snow first over high elevations this afternoon and then be at every elevation all snow either late this afternoon or certainly into tonight. And with temperatures just a smidge colder, I think every elevation has a better chance at getting some sticking snow. Now we're probably going to range from a trace coating to inch, inch and a half lower elevations by tomorrow morning to an inch and a half to three inches over higher elevations. Not exactly overwhelming amounts of snow, certainly, but something to keep in mind on for the overnight and tomorrow morning. Thursday, occasional light snow showers and flurries with borderline temperatures. Most of the accumulation during the day part of Thursday will probably be limited to lawns and trees over higher elevations with either a coating or melting for lower elevations. Thursday night into Friday, we still have a persistent moist north by northwest wind and still some of the storm moisture left over. So we're going to have more snow showers and flurries Thursday night. We'll probably scrape together another inch or two with three with the higher elevation seeing the highest amounts for Thursday night. A gusty north by northwest wind continues on Friday, which probably brings us some more snow showers and flurries. I'll notice the precipitation probability is sky high for the next seven days, although most of the amounts of precipitation aren't exactly overwhelming. We're talking either some light snow showers and flurries per period, no more than one to three inches at a times. It's just flurries with the best chances of accumulation during the nighttime hours when it's cold. For the upcoming weekend, flurries and breaks of sun Saturday, upper 20s to near 30. Snow showers and flurries on tap for Sunday in a high of 25. I'm meteorologist Peter Hall. Have a great day.